Okay, so I've got a mic on me now. I'm gonna go into building three. Yeah, I'm gonna take you guys through on how I do a competition run, the steps I do, the procedures I take, and um, yeah, just how I put it together. So I'll put a little one for you guys today, just like a little chill one. I don't wanna go too crazy. Um, and then you guys can watch and maybe learn something from it. All right, I'm just gonna do like a mic check, see if you can hear me. Is it all good? Um, I just did a line somewhere to warm up. This park is quite easy to do a comp in. Purely just because there's a good box, good step up, good quarters, good street. You know, you can add the diversity, the flow, the transfers, the big tricks, the difficulty, all of that stuff, all in this park. So I quite like this park for comps, even though I've done so many. Because one thing you want to focus on is diversity of your tricks, which is like, don't just do like kicklesses the whole run. You want to diverse. Diversify what you do, like, you know, bars, whips, rewinds, overheads, flips. So the diversity is that, and then the difficulty, which is how difficult your tricks are, it's pretty obvious. Um, and then you want to do, like, the flow. So you want to flow, transfer, um, you know, get around the park nice. You know, don't just stop at the top of the ramp and sit around. You want to, like, make sure you're always airing, always doing tricks. And then consistency is the next one, which is basically just, like, landing every single one of your tricks. Yeah, so obviously if you, if you step a foot, it's not going to be good. So you want to keep keep on your skewer, stay styled. Um, no new tricks that are too difficult, like, so you don't fall off, do you know what I mean? Stay on the skewer. And then, um, yeah, so that's really the main pillars to focus on. And then basically look at where you're most comfortable. So where that's the box, the air, some sort of transfer you're most comfortable with and you want to start there and then build the run from that. I'll show you what I'll do to start off with, right? So I'm gonna start off on the box because that's where you can hit the biggest trick, the most difficult, the most diverse. Okay, so first you wanna figure out your line. That's the first and most important thing is the line. So before you do any tricks, you just do the line as I'm doing now. Make sure it feels comfortable. Make sure it feels chill. And then you can add tricks to it. And you can just keep adding. So you see the line I'm doing now? I'm doing some transfers, doing some big airs, I'm doing some difficult lines and unique lines. I'm basically just staying flowing. That's what you want to do. And that is probably 45 seconds if I'm right. Okay, so now I've got the line done. I basically now look at what parts of the skate park I'm hitting that I'm most comfortable with. For me, on this park, that is the box, step up, and the core, the air. So, then what you want to do is then you look at, right, what's the tricks that I can do in those parts that I'm most comfortable with, and I can land every go, but are also really difficult and diverse. So you base your run around the line and those big tricks you're planning, and then you sort of, as the line goes, you can think, all right, what's different to the big trick I just did, you know? So say if you do this boxes twice, the second time round, you can think, all right, what did I not do on the first line that I could now do on the second one round? So that's where the diversity comes in, is you like think you don't want to repeat the same sort of tricks in the run, because that's where you start losing points. Oh! So that's just an example of one box line that I'll do. Um, and then for example, the second time I go around, I'll do different tricks, like maybe a different flip combo or a different 360 combo or a different straight trick, like a rewind or a bar combo. That's really where you want to do is focus on the big tricks you want to do and then use the little ones around it to be different and be diverse. Okay, another really important thing as well is when you land your tricks, you want to make sure you can land them at good speed. So that comes into difficulty of the trick. You don't want to 
pick something too difficult and not be able to land with good speed. You want to pick something within your skill level and you want to land to be able to have enough speed to get into the next trick. Ah! Hey, we keep going, <laughs> we keep going. <laughs> I screamed so loud. Another thing I'll mention with runs as well, which goes into the diversity bracket, is if there's some good street in the park you're riding, like here there's a, there's a good rail, good ledge, um, you basically want to try to utilize that, so you don't want to lose too much speed from it. So I find doing them right at the end of the run, if you come round to it, it's perfect. So say if you're finishing off last five seconds, you can just go down and do a street trick, but that really depends on how good your street level is. But you see, I'm not the best at it, but I've got someone here that's pretty good. So, Jake B. Smith, you may have heard of the name. But we're gonna get the mic on him. He's gonna show you some good street examples. Okay, so he's trying a new trick. I'm not sure what it is, but. What is it? You tell me, so. Oh, okay. Ah, I don't have a clue either, mate. <laughs> um, I'll put the mic on for a couple of goes. Yeah. I might not land it, but you can see me have a couple okay. of attempts to see what goes through my brain. Sam? But the melody is so clear. At the end of Jaden's run, next time he's doing this. He's just told me. Every time I don't land a trick, I'll do a trick on the down rail. I don't want to see Jaden learn it. Nice and simple. On his 3.7 wide lucky deck. You might get copyrighted for that, it was so close to the original. Oh my god, that was a full bar! Ah! Oh, this is down really again. Live. Oh, okay, it's happening though. I figured I need to throw the start a bit quicker. It's so annoyingly easy with a half bar. <laughs> there we go. I've wanted that for ages. There we go. Back to Jaden. Hey guys, Indy Clayson checking in. Jaden's obviously realised that he's not the top dog. He's passed it to someone who he believes that it is. Okay. Right, uh, I'm going to start off. I'm going to try a little park trick and we'll go for a 360, like full lunge twist downhill over the box. We'll come down and. How oh, was that not a park trick, lad? Have you got a problem? See me on the box. Right, and then we'll come back, hit the rail, maybe the ledge, incorporate that into the, the street run. Obviously, we want to be diverse, we want to be versatile. We'll show everybody what it's about, really, don't we, T, T Bowner? You ready? We'll just pop a little combination. Oh shit. That's exactly how you. See, the thing is, well, my brain stopped working, so. Little bar twist. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know it's hard, mate. You've got to be top dog to be able to do it, but. <laughs> Consistency is key when it comes to street. Park ride this man. Yo, you good? Well, Sorry, bro. Normally in the street comp, there's not little park rats like him in the way. That's what I'm saying, yeah. man. It's just uh, first, so frustrating. I'm trying to film a YouTube video for God's sake. Uh, <laughs> Casualty. Jaden Sharman down, can we get a clean up on our four? Clean up for daddy! All right, we're in. We're linking it up, Jamin Chard. Jamin Chardon, get your notepad. Keep the run going. I mean, I've kind of ruined it there, haven't I? Uh, 
<laughs> All right. Mate, I'm a street rider, chill. Oh, smack my elbow. Why don't you put a run together for me as a park, from a park rider's perspective and I'll do it as a street rider. That's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. That's cliff bait right there. Nice. No, not what you would do. I don't care about you. I want to know what you would have me do. Do you know what I mean? I want you to do what I do. Oh, oh, fine then, yeah, do it, go for it. Just, just, oh, I like it like this. Like this? Yeah. Okay, so I want you to go like box, box. Yeah. Air on action space, background, spine to resi takeoff. Yeah. Air on the roller, yeah. keep the speed. Yeah. Boxes again. Yeah. Air on the action space, but right. Down here, quarter trick, back up. Air on the action space, but left. Yeah. Back down to the spine. Yeah. Quarter to roll in. Yeah. Box, step up. I might need you to just start calling random tricks because I think I'm going to run out. All right. No, I've got the stamina, that best belief. Sure. Yeah, ask you. Ah, he didn't see the grind coming, did he? Oh, shit. I think that counts. We'll take that. I'm cheating with the grinds, but that's oh shit, there's so much speed. Oh, the boxes, oh shit. That's okay. I'm coming in, oh shit. I'm running again. I've run out of tricks. That was awful. Please don't put that anywhere. Oh, so bad. That was shocking, wasn't it? That was shocking. I think I did about three tricks. See my line? How was that, dude? Uh, it was pretty chill. I like that. The problem is when you've got, when you can do so many tricks so easily, it's hard to pick. So, like, my brain's just going on overdrive and I just forget to do it. Ah! Oh, fuck off. Yeah, you're on I want to do your line. Do it. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Right, okay. But I would salad the back of that court, like the, the barrier. Uh, on the gel blaster one. Salad that, come back. That? Yeah. Salad that, come back. Uh, and then either... Okay, no, genuinely, I would, I would start here. Hit the down rail, salad that, hit the rail again. Rail this way, ledge, quarter, box, step up, and then probably come back to this bit again. This way. And then something to fetch there. All right. So Indy's called me the street line. And it's not that bad. Not as bad as I thought, but I'm just bugging about this, this like banister stool. So I'm gonna have a little check it out and just see what's going on. Yeah, I got that. Oh. Ledge. I missed out on a few things. If it isn't first try, it means you're trying, it means you're working hard, so. But it's a good challenge, mate, it's a good challenge. Oh, I was so close. Can I hit that ledge instead of that one? Can you hit the quarter or the one after? The one right at the end, I keep falling on that. <laughs> this guy's got some integrity and I like it. Here we go again. Two 
Dude, this man's chill. Well, I'm good here. <laughs> Let me go over here. This is the problem. Yes! Street King, baby. On the 4.8. All right. Oh, that was fun. I love the challenge. Trying out the new stuff and like seeing how a street rider would do their run. So, um, hope you enjoyed that. Took a few goes, but hey, I'm learning still. That's a wrap for the how to do a comp run, I guess. So, I hope you guys learned something from that. Um, I want a big shout out to Indian Jake for featuring and like having a laugh, and uh, especially Indy for challenging me to do that street run. So, uh, legends. But yeah, so I'm, I hope the competition information was useful. Implement it in some of your runs that you've got coming up and yeah i think in the future i'll definitely go more in depth and how i deal with the pressure and stuff like that but for now that's just like the basics and the pillars to uh cover when you're thinking of a run um yeah that'll be the end of the video so i'll see you guys in the next one